I will answer these questions as normal as possible without sounding like some type of musical superhero. Who am I? Rock star, um, singer, songwriter, producer. A mix between everything that has to do with emotion in music. Um, I'm just a fusion. Pop, rock, rap, R&B. Describe myself in three words. Um, okay. Uh, futuristic. Leader. Trendsetter. I start working with Chris Brown. Shoot. Uh, Mark Pitts brought me in. Um, and, you know, they were doing a, a camp, actually, where everybody was coming in from the interns to freaking um, Timberland to Diplo to everybody, you know. Um, and basically, he was like, you know, you you know, I need you to do the craziest stuff you've ever done in your life. And I was like, yo, that's crazy because every time I do something is the craziest stuff I've ever done in my life. I always top myself. So me and him, like, that's my that's my manager, but that's my friend. So we just going back and forth. And we was in a room, and then, um, you know, it all started there, and uh, we're here. What was it like working with CB? Yeah, man. <laughs> Are we creative together? Super creative. Chris is a beast, man. That dude, you give him... A record and um, you know I'll be in one room on the whole other side of the complex of studios and I'll be in there going hard and then he'll come in there and put his input in and da, 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 da. we finish it up and then like I you know I'll be like oh shoot let me start another joint and he'll go back and then while I'm in the middle of this record he'll come back fully with the record cut 30 minutes I'm like dude's an alien well he's just so professional with that stuff it's ridiculous the reason why I find China is the right fit for Chris, um, is for, there's so many reasons behind that, but one, it, it, it's, it's kind of expressing to the, to the world how he kind of feels like it's all right, I'm not dangerous, you know, verbatim from the, from the hook, you know what I mean? When you're mine, I'll be generous. You're irreplaceable or collectible, just like fine China, like... He's not only just talking to a girl, he's kind of talking to the world with that, like, uh, just how he feels. And it got that real, it got that incredible Michael flavor in it. And uh, it brings that genuine, that genuine feel back to music. Um, and it's just, it's just, it's just a good emotional record, honestly. Uh, great fit for him, where he's at right now, just rising above everything. It just feels good. What inspired the lyrics? Um... Just feeling, just conversation. Me and Chris sitting there, and 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 this is the thing about this album. Me and Chris, like, he sit there and have a conversation, and whatever he's talking about comes through on the record. That's what we've been missing in music in general. Just people being able to, you know, really just say how they feel in a genius way onto a record, and um, just the conversation between me and Chris inspired. Um, the lyrics, just having a real conversation about how he really feels about whoever we were talking about at the time and where he's at right now and the whole nine and the fan, everything. Just, it just, it just all, you know, it felt, it felt perfect when the record was done. And um, those were the most natural lyrics that came, actually. I love it. My favorite verse of Fine China is, um, it's going to be the second verse. Um, and it goes, um, baby, you're my favorite. It's like all the girls around you don't have faces. And the saying goes that life is just a game, but I'm not playing. It's just like, it's so, it's, it's mature, it's to the point, it's emotional. It just makes so much sense. And um, um, that's my favorite part. Other artists I'm working on right now, uh, Timberland. Just got through um, coming back from New York with him on that Shock Value 3. Um, Working on that Usher, just got back from Atlanta with Usher right after that. Going hard, non-stop. Um, his album's going to be crazy. And last but not least, which probably should have been mentioned first, my album. Which is going to be crazy. Um, I got an EP called Gateway Drug. Um, and then the album's going to be called Meaning a Heartbreak. And it's about to be something that might just change music.